guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd do like a little like, vlog style, like showing you how I've decorated the house so far. So the house isn't completely finished of decorating, but I've definitely made a lot of progress since you last saw the house, where I was still like not barely unpacked. So yeah, um, most of the stuff I got in the house, um, furniture wise, mostly from Ikea. Um, at Harvey Norman and uh, most of my decoration is either Kmart, Ikea and a little bit from Spotlight and stuff like that but I thought I'd film it today because the cleaner has just come, I'm just home from work so yeah let's show you my beautiful clean half decorated house. So as we walk in the front door this is the sort of setting I have just because it's not a wide hallway but I still wanted to have something so this is actually a shoe cabinet that I got from Audi so it was like $99 and I thought it looked really nice in this space and then the two just white vases are just from Kmart and then the picture of myself because I'm that bitch um, was actually um, drawn in Paris the first time I went in 2009 so that is teenage Kate up on the wall so yeah, just so you know, as soon as you walk in the door, whose house it is. <laughs> so in, into my room. This is currently what it's looking like. So I've put on a different bedspread. This one is Vera Wang. And the, um, the big cushions in the back, the Euro cushions, the covers, the pink covers are from Kmart. But the cushions themselves are from Target. And then the two white ones and the grey one in the middle are from Kmart as well. And the whole bedroom suite, so the bed, the bedside tables and the tall boy is from Harvey Norman. And then I also have this really big mirror. Um, I got it in a store in a local shopping centre that's no longer there. So can't tell you where I got that one. But... I got it on sale as they were closing down and I'm so grateful for it because I just love like the touch it makes to um you know the room it classes it up a little bit so yeah um also I've got the tv on top of the tall boy so I didn't have to like make any holes in the walls or anything so that's just from good guys I think and I just got a little like Puffet sort of thing from Kmart just so I could sit down when I put my shoes on because the bed is just so tall I can't sit on it because I'm short so it's somewhere I can put my shoes on and actually reach my feet and the windows I have got shutters on them these were very expensive because they were custom made for the windows because I'm an idiot and did not get standard window fittings but yeah I absolutely am in love with the shutters I just think they totally make the room and just pull everything all together and on this bedside table, obviously the one I sleep on, it's just practical shit. Usually there's phones and iPads and, you know, things on there. But on this side, I wanted to make it cute. So the lamps on each side are from Ikea. And this little clock, which does not have a battery in it, and the little pink bunny are from Kmart. And I'm not going to show you the wardrobe and the bathroom because it's a mess. And the bathroom's like a bathroom. It doesn't really have any much decoration in it. Anything it does, I have it in the other bathroom as well, so you'll be able to see it there. So, the hallway closet has become a bit of the, the new dumping ground. It's basically everything out of the dumping ground has been organised in here, so it's not anything interesting as a storage cupboard. But into my beauty room, it's not completely finished yet. Um, it's probably the least decorated room I have right now. So, here is my little makeup desk obviously the two alex drawers and the countertop are from ikea this sort of like close-up mirror is from ikea as well and then the hollywood mirror is from vanity collections and my little brush holders are pots from kmart and this is the i just switched the chairs back and forth like it's a one chair and this desk and the chair is also from Ikea. So basically this is where I sit down and edit. And it's basically like my office situation rather than my makeup situation. And I recently bought this picture from Kmart that I want to put up, up above the desk here. I just loved the pink. Obviously I'm trying to add accents of pink. And when I saw this in the white frame for like $19 I think it was. It was kind of a bargain. Um, that 
lamp is very old, I don't remember where it's from. But and this organizer is from Officeworks and it's just got stuff for future videos. So next into the first lounge room, kind of a little bit bare, but you know, I don't really use this room very much. It's kind of just a practicality resale sort of value sort of adder, you know, but the bean bag, I already owned the beans. I just changed the bean bag cover and I got the gray fluffy one from Target. And then just this pillow, I've had it for a long time. I don't remember where it was. The little table, my brother actually made and I painted white with my dad. So you can't really get that one anywhere, but the little gray velvet tray underneath is from Kmart and the vase is from Spotlight and the flowers, they are from Kmart. And the couch is from Harvey Norman, um, the little teddy bear was a gift from a long time ago, and the white cushion is obviously from Kmart, as you can tell, it was on all the TV ads. And the big lamp is the same as the little ones in my bedroom, but and that one's also from Ikea. And the bookshelf with just all my books, magazines, textbooks, all that sort of stuff, that is from Amart Furniture. And then the trinkets on there are my own. And then here we have just a TV. It's just one of my parents' old TVs, so it's just it's just zero basically. And the um, TV cabinet is from IKEA, and it fits perfectly in this space, I reckon. But yeah, I kind of want to put like a rug or I feel like a coffee table is going to be too much in this room. But I thought maybe a rug or some pictures on the walls or something. But yeah, I still haven't got around to it. Into the third bedroom, which was the dumping ground as you last saw it. It is now a lot less stuff, as you can see. And obviously I'm just drying some clothes in here just to keep it out of the way from everything. But yeah. It's, it's definitely a lot better than what you last saw. And next door in the laundry, I have done some decorating in here. So pretty much as you last saw it, um, but I have added this, my mum got it for me. I don't know where it's from, but it's basically holds washing powder in it. And I have added some pictures of Paris in here. I had a calendar from Typo and basically got some $2 Ikea white frames and I have put the calendar pictures into the frames. So in here and then in the bathroom, like the main bathroom of the house, I've added these Paris pictures just because I didn't know where to put them and because they weren't like massive and all the blank walls in my house are so big, I didn't want to have just little things. I thought the bathroom and the laundry could have a Paris theme. So yeah, I think it's, Pretty stock standard, something to liven up the place. It's a laundry room, what do you expect, you know? So here in the main bathroom, we have obviously the sink and everything you saw. Um, I've got the Paris pictures on either side. And in this little corner, I'm trying to tie in the pink in this picture. So I have some just hand lotion um, from Natio. I have a um, beautiful candle that someone at work got me for a housewarming present. And this little flower and white pot is from Ikea. And over on this side, it's the same situation as in my um, ensuite. Um, I have the white tray with the toothbrush holder and the soap pump. The tray is from Dusk and the soap pump and the um, toothbrush holder are from Ikea. Um, but the one in my ensuite is a little bit longer and the inside is just a little candle holder that has some Q-tips in it just because I don't need Q-tips in here, but obviously I use them in my own bathroom. Then just some tissues. I really want to get a tissue like cover like for the box because I don't just like tissue box, like it doesn't match, but I can't find tissue box covers anymore that aren't like just plain white or modern or anything. They're just ugly. <laughs> Um, and another Paris picture inside of the IKEA frame and a uh, hand towel. Um, the set of towels in this bathroom are from a hotel in Hong Kong. <laughs> kind of stole some towels when the maid left the cart out. We won't get into it. So in the toilet, yes I know, I have decorated the toilet. We have another Paris picture and then obviously it's a toilet. <laughs> and then in here we've got little bin and some more Paris pictures because who doesn't want to look at something when they're taking a shit? 
And then in the main part of the bathroom, we have obviously some more stolen hotel towels. Um, I have some hexagon um, fake plants from Kmart and some hotel, you know, toiletries for any guests. And I also got this caddy from Kmart, but I haven't put anything in it yet. So I'll have to start sifting through and see if I can find bath bombs and decorate decorations and things like that. And then I've just got some more of the toiletries in the shower. But yeah, it's, I don't really need too much in here. I'm never using the room, so. And then into the main living area. Um, obviously my couch and ottoman and that is the same um, with the set from in the other lounge room from Harvey Norman. And I've got this um, armchair with its own little ottoman from Ikea. Um, the white fluffy cushion is from Cheapest Chips, I believe. And the pink knot cushion is from Kmart. And also the side table, like the marble top side table is obviously from Kmart. And then the candle on top, I have no bloody idea where that's from. It's from a long time ago. And the TV cabinet is a longer version of the one in the other room, and that one's from Ikea. And the TV is a like an old TV from my grandparents, so they're basically just like, let me have it, because they're getting a new one. And the white tray on the ottoman is actually a wooden one from Kmart that me and my dad painted when we painted the table that my brother made. And um, the candle is from Kmart. And then the starfish is from Queensland and the shell, I can't remember, but just something to add some color to it. And then obviously the white cushion is from Kmart. I really want to get some more cushions. I wanted some pink ones just to tie in with this cushion, but I can't find any good ones. And the good ones I found at Spotlight were like $50 a cushion and that's ridiculous. So um, yeah, not doing that. And this blanket, I can't remember where I got it from, so I've had it a long time. Basically to keep me warm when I'm on the couch in the middle of winter. And then another one of the marble tables from Kmart. And these curtains are custom made from a local place. And the floor mats for the outside door are from Kmart. Over here, as you can see, this artwork on the wall is from Kmart. And the ladder book shelf is also from Kmart with trinkets from throughout my life. I know it doesn't look so, you know, picturesque, but you know, it's, these are all special items to me. So I'm sure I'll style it better eventually, but this is just where I've put it all for now. And just here next to the TV, we have a pink sort of silver vase thing that's from Kmart. And then I have this like aroma diffuser thing and I love that it's like silver with the black reeds. And this is from Kmart. And I think I'll keep it even when it runs out of oil. Because it's really cute. And also this artwork is another picture that I had drawn when I was in Paris for the first time in 2009. And it's like a cartoony sort of one. People say it kind of looks like Marilyn Monroe. I do not see it. <laughs> Into the kitchen, not a lot has sort of changed. So this plant and pot are from Ikea. Um, their toaster and kettle were from Harvey Norman. The knives were a gift, so I don't know where they're from. Um, this hand pump for soap is from Spotlight. I liked the black marble, so everything wasn't white marble. Um, and then over here, I just have some stuff. So this is just a candle holder I've had forever and these are Swarovski pens I got when they were gifts with Nivea. I kind of took them all. Um, the chopping board is from Kmart. The plant and pot is from uh, Ikea. The bunny and the coasters are from Kmart and the standing marble tray is from Kmart as well. Um, the, uh, the, the melt candle situation thing, I. My mum gave it to me because she didn't need it, so don't know where that's from. And then this plastic, like, little candy jars from Kmart. And I've just popped some variety of mints in there just to add some green. And also, it's nice to have access to mints. <laughs> I like fresh breath. And the clock is from Target from a long time ago because I got it 
for my room in my parents' house and I just brought it here into the kitchen. And in the dining room, we obviously have my very expensive uh, beacon lighting light. And I have extended the extendable table. I just think it balances out the light a bit better. Um, obviously the table and chairs are from Ikea and I got the gray chair cushions from Ikea to go with it. And then the banana bowl is from Kmart as well as the placemats from Kmart. And this is one of those like world maps where you scratch off all the places that you've been. I think I got it from Etsy, but obviously I've been to a lot of places and I have just haven't scratched anything off. Um, I kind of like the whole like all silver look, but I do want to scratch them off eventually. I think I'll scratch it off when I go on my next trip and I'll just do everything I've done because it's a big heavy frame and I cannot be bothered taking it out. But yeah guys, that's basically what the house looks like so far. I know it's not 100% decorated, but it's definitely come a long way in the past couple of months. Um, I wanna show you outside cause it's, cause it's like dark, but there's like a four chair table and chairs out there and there's like a, a Kmart plant on the table and then there's like an, um, an Audi couch out there, but it's like all packed up in the, um, cover because it's winter i'm not sitting outside so it doesn't actually look like it should i'll show you guys in summer i think but yeah that's basically everything i've done um yeah slowly but surely getting there so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye guys